Nikon might be quietly preparing a major shakeup for content creators, vloggers, and hybrid shooters who want high performance without breaking the bank. The rumored Nikon Z32 is attracting attention for its combination of compact size, advanced features, and potential sub $1,000 price point. Over the past few months, leaks and insider information have hinted at a camera that could rival much more expensive gear, offering a stacked 26-megapixel APS-C sensor, the latest XPET 7 processor, Z9-inspired autofocus, oversampled 6K to 4K video, and possibly a 5-axis IBIS system. If these features land, the Z32 could transform the way creators shoot, whether they're vlogging, filming travel content, or producing hybrid projects. At the heart of the Nikon Z32 is its rumored stacked 26-megapixel backside illuminated sensor. Stack sensors allow for faster readouts, improve low-light performance, and reduce rolling shutter, critical features for creators shooting fast-moving subjects or capturing cinematic motion. Combined with Nikon's rumored XPET 7 processing engine, this sensor could deliver cleaner images, better dynamic range, and smoother overall performance compared to the original Z30. This combination would put a powerful imaging system in a compact, portable body, enabling creators to produce high-quality video and photography without carrying a full-sized mirrorless rig. Autofocus is another major area where the Z32 could stand out. Rumors suggest it could inherit technology from the flagship Z9, including advanced subject tracking, eye detection, and AI-driven autofocus optimization for humans, animals, and even vehicles. This would allow solo shooters to achieve professional-level subject tracking in a much smaller package. Coupled with oversampled 6K to 4K video, creators could achieve high-quality 4K footage with reduced noise, sharper detail, and greater flexibility in post-production. Oversampling essentially captures more detail than the final video resolution requires, resulting in footage that looks cleaner, richer, and more cinematic. Video capabilities reportedly include 4K at 120 frames per second in crop mode, unlocking creative slow-motion possibilities that previously required external gear. If Nikon adds a 5-axis IBIS system, which some leaks claim could offer up to 7.5 to 8 stops of stabilization, handheld shooting could become significantly more manageable, reducing or even eliminating the need for a gimbal in many scenarios. While the exact stabilization performance remains unconfirmed, even a portion of that promise would make the Z32 a game-changer for mobile creators and travel vloggers who need reliable, steady footage on the go. Other rumored features make the Z32 even more appealing. These include 10-bit N-Log for advanced color grading, a brighter 3.2-inch fully articulating touchscreen, USB-C with power delivery, and improved battery life using the NL27 battery. All of these enhancements address the practical needs of creators who require flexibility, portability, and extended recording times. With a suggested price range of $850 to $899, the Z32 could become a highly competitive offering in the sub $1,000 category, providing features and performance that usually sit in much higher price tiers. Recent actions by Nikon and retailers support the idea of an imminent release. Many stores have begun clearing out Z30 stock, offering refurbished models at discounted prices, a classic pre-launch strategy. This behavior, combined with leaks from supply chains, patent filings, and model codes like N2214, points toward a coordinated effort to make room for a new model. When multiple independent sources report consistent specifications, the likelihood of these rumors being accurate increases, making it clear that Nikon is preparing a meaningful refresh of its APS-C mirrorless line. The implications for creators are significant. First, IBIS could reduce dependence on gimbals, transforming run-and-gun shooting workflows. Second, the stack sensor combined with oversampled 6K to 4K video would enable high-quality slow-motion capture and post-production flexibility without additional rigs. Third, Z9-inspired autofocus could deliver reliable subject tracking in a compact form factor. Fourth, the XPET 7 processor would provide faster image processing, improved high ISO performance, and computational photography enhancements previously reserved for higher-end models. Finally, the combination of performance, size, and price could force competitors to rethink their sub $1,000 offerings. Timing for the Z32 is currently rumored for early 2026, potentially aligning with major trade shows like CP Plus or CES, with shipping likely in the spring. This schedule allows Nikon to clear older Z30 inventory and build anticipation for the new model. For creators considering whether to wait, the decision depends on workflow needs. 
those who already own a Z30 and do not require advanced stabilization or 120 FPS internal video may continue using their current gear. However, anyone relying on handheld shooting, slow motion video, or solo workflows could benefit greatly from waiting for the Z32. While the Z32 focuses on entry-level to mid-tier creators, Nikon is also rumored to be planning a significant refresh to its Z8 lineup. The rumored Z82 could be the camera advanced users have been waiting for, addressing performance limitations and expanding creative possibilities. Early leaks suggest it may support 8K recording at 60 frames per second with improved thermal management, internal 12-bit RAW, and ProRes RAW HQ recording. These upgrades would enable filmmakers to capture high-quality footage without external recorders, streamlining workflow and reducing equipment requirements. The Z8 second of may also see enhancements in autofocus, burst shooting, and ergonomics. Rumored features include up to 30 FPS raw bursts with full autofocus and exposure tracking, advanced 3D tracking, eye detection enhancements, and pre-burst capture for capturing decisive moments. Ergonomic improvements such as a deeper grip for better handling with long lenses, improved EVF resolution, sunlight-optimized LCD, and better weather sealing using lightweight composites would make the Z8 II a more reliable professional tool for both photography and video. Battery life, dual card slots, and improved handling for long-form shoots are also part of the rumored updates. With these features, the Z8 II could transition from a secondary camera into a main workhorse for hybrid shooters, offering both versatility and reliability. While the current Z8 remains a solid choice for those who need immediate solutions, professionals who require heavy 8K capture, high frame rate slow motion, and superior autofocus may find waiting for the Z8 II worthwhile. Overall, Nikon appears to be targeting practical, real-world improvements with both the Z32 and Z8 II. IBIS, stack sensors, advanced video capabilities, high-speed autofocus, and smarter processing all aim to make creators' workflows more efficient, flexible, and professional. These are not gimmicks, they are meaningful upgrades designed to address the specific challenges faced by solo creators, vloggers, travel filmmakers, and hybrid shooters. In conclusion, the Nikon Z32 could redefine what's possible in the sub $1,000 creator market, offering stabilization, cinematic slow motion, high-quality 4K video, and Z9-inspired autofocus in a compact and affordable body. The Z8 II, meanwhile, may provide advanced features like 8K capture, fast burst rates, refined sensors, and professional codecs, positioning it as a next-generation hybrid tool. Both cameras emphasize workflow efficiency, portability, and creative freedom, which are essential for today's content creators. Choosing whether to wait or buy depends on individual needs, shooting style, and how much these rumored features would impact your creative process.